there, Geminis, and welcome to Friday. Sunny and cool this weekend for the Geminis, and very passionate. This is definitely going to be a good play weekend for you, Gem. That's because the moon is in your sign. So emotions and ego are working side by side for the next 48 hours or so. So this is a time where you'll probably have to be out there being ambassador, you know, where you're helping people communicate. Mom, that's not what Dad said. Dad, that's not what Mom said. You know, that sort of thing. Helping things bridge together, helping ideas bridge together. And woe to the person that gets in an argument with you or a Sag this weekend, because as the moon crosses Mars, you will get very passionate about it. In fact, there's a subtle chance of arrogance probably on Saturday. Be careful. Don't get too arrogant or cocky with whoever you're dealing with. Now, zipping around the sun, we're in chapter three of Sun and Leo, and today Jupiter is ruling the day. What's the topic? Your attitude. The way you think, the way you process things, all right? And with Jupiter ruling the day, it's time to think outside your own box. So maybe in a conversation, try taking a different perspective. Maybe do devil's advocate. Maybe you don't normally do that. Just try thinking or saying it differently. If you're a writer, try writing it differently. If you have your own astrology show, try saying it differently on camera. But try something different. This will help you get out of your intellectual patterns and ruts and mind games if you force your mind to do something it doesn't normally do. Maybe just a crossword puzzle. Then thinking of thinking, over the weekend, Mercury is going to dead conjunct Saturn. That means I think we're all going to get clear on the Saturn Virgo issue. And for Geminis, you should be clear by the end of the weekend on the kind of home and family and foundation system that you need in your life. This is what I call the potting soil of your soul garden. Geminis have been working for nearly two years to get their potting soil in order. Sometimes dealing with a lot of fertilizer, sometimes they're not watering themselves, sometimes they've got bad roommates, weeds in that pot, but you've been working on it. And I think by the end of the weekend, you will be clear on what it needs to be. Now, I'm not saying there won't be rewrites. There will. There's a Mercury retrograde coming up. It's going to go direct again. But this is the beginning of the end now of the Saturn Virgo transit. Thank goddess. Then finally, we've got a new episode of Ariel Joseph Town and Feng Shui Friday. That's right, the Feng Shui guy on the mothership. Now, Ariel is literally helping people rearrange their home space and their workspace for their personal success. So, considering you're wrapping up a two year transit on home and family, watch Ariel Joseph Town. I think it'll help you. All right, Gemini, that's all I have for the weekend forecast. I'll see you on Monday with more. Live, love, be. So